Hey, what's happening guys? I'm over here at the light table and I sold a few items last night so I'm just getting these things packed up. I want to get them ready for Richard. He could be here at any moment and I am not prepared. This is the main reason that I like to do my packing at nighttime, but I've decided that I want to start showing off my finds again. I finally remembered why I haven't been doing a lot of the what sold clips in my videos. I remembered that I have to actually hold off on packing them so that I can show what they are, which kind of makes it kind of a hassle. I may not be able to do all the fancy photo work and everything on the corner of the screen, but we'll see what we can do. We'll try to make it work. So the first item that sold was this Ravensburger puzzle. This thing has been listed since around June 2020, so it's been about 16 months. I think I paid like two bucks for this at the Salvation Army, and it sold for $12.50 plus shipping. I also sold this little basket weaving kit. This too has also been listed for about a year and it only sold for $10 free shipping. This is a work bowl for a mini KitchenAid food processor. I listed this back in the summertime and it sold for $16.95 with free shipping. And then I sold this Leap Pad Gel Skin. This has probably been listed for around a year. I can't remember exactly where I got it from, but I think I paid a dollar for it. This is going out to a drop shipper for $9.95, free shipping. And that's all that I've got for you guys right now. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed up. I'm going to try to get a few items listed. I am going to the dump today at about 11, 11.30. I'm going to shoot over there, and hopefully we can find some goodness. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey, what's happening, folks? I'm over here at the light table, and at least up in New Hampshire, you can tell that it's most definitely not summertime anymore. I think it's like 47 degrees or something, which isn't freezing, but it's a little bit nippy. Anywho, in an attempt to try to show you guys what sold, I went ahead and pulled all of my orders, and I figured I'd record them before I packed them. I think there was only a total of five items going out. This is one of the many items that I found over at that Cambridge Hoarder House, and it sold for $19.95 with free shipping. Some of you guys may be wondering, hey Josh, whatever happened to that hoarder house? You said you were supposed to go back and get some more stuff. But fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you see it, my friend Jim was able to find somebody to buy the house with all of the stuff in it. And I say unfortunately because I probably could have found some more items. I probably would have helped Jim grab some more of those shelves. And I might have even kept a few. But on the fortunate side, I feel like a lot of the items we left were kind of like cheap items. Now granted, they were new, but I think feel like it would have taken a long time to sell some of this stuff and I probably wouldn't have been able to sell it for very much but I found a lot of great stuff I had a really good time hanging out with Jim that day and I hope to do it again at some point and moving on we sold this Ronco loading base this came from one of the rotisserie machines and it sold for $9.95 with free shipping I picked up these MTD weed whacker spools I think I got about eight or nine of them back in May or June I think I paid about three bucks a piece for them, and honestly, they haven't been very good sellers for me. I think over the past four or five months, I sold three or four, and I believe one guy actually bought two. So, they've been really slow. I think by this point, I might be in the profit, but I don't think I'd buy them again. But at any rate, it sold for 13 free shipping. I sold this DVD box set of Highway to Heaven. The box is actually destroyed. It has all of the DVDs, and I did look through them. I didn't see any cracks, but they do have some scratches and scuffs and stuff. I picked this up at that auction house tag sale when I bought all of those DVD sets. I think I ended up paying something like $2 a piece. And this one sold for $19.95 with free shipping, and this will go media mail. And the last thing that I sold was this vintage Sunbeam Mixer turntable part. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago. If you guys remember, there was a Sunday-only garage sale. It may end up being the last garage sale of the year. I found that Sunbeam mixer and the phone and all that stuff. I paid 10 bucks for the mixer, and this part alone sold for $19.95 with free shipping. I'm definitely already in the profit on that mixer. I think I've sold most of the parts, but I still have a few left. The good thing about stuff like that is if you pay 10 bucks for something like that and it has a bunch of parts and you just sell one part, 
you're literally in the profit after the first part. So it's just money coming in on a regular basis. Or maybe it takes an entire year to sell, but you still have that little residual profit coming in throughout the year. And that is cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed up before Richard gets here. And then I'm going to show you guys what I got at the dump yesterday. All right, I just got done packing up those five items. I've put them outside for Richard, and I have returned to the photo table because I wanted to show you guys my little $1 haul at the dump yesterday. This stuff's pretty much actually free, but they have a little donation box, and, and if I have an extra buck or two on me, I'll just throw it in the box before I leave. I think the donations go to help out the food bank. I've actually started donating quite a bit of stuff there. I prefer to see people get things for free as opposed to having to buy stuff from the Salvation Army. I'm not sure if you guys go to a lot of thrift stores or not. I'm sure a lot of you do. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like in some places the thrift stores are way up in price. I see a lot of these guys selling really nice shoes on eBay. There's no way you could buy a pair of shoes in the Salvation Army I'm at. First of all, they don't get a lot of shoes in. I would be interested in selling men's shoes, and you hardly ever see a nice pair of men's shoes come in. And if they do come in, they are priced at eBay prices. So there's definitely no meat on the bone for Big Josh. So I prefer to give whatever I can these days to the dump. That way people can actually get the stuff for free. And then it might even encourage them to donate more. Actually, yesterday, I donated a 24 roll of toilet paper. My dad went to the grocery store, and he accidentally bought this one-ply toilet paper. And apparently, one-ply is no good for your business. So he said, you get rid of this stuff. So I took it down to the dump with me yesterday and dropped it off to the lady. And I went back to my van because the lady that was working at the swap shack were not really fans of each other. So I was going to wait till she left and then go inside. So not two minutes later, I see the employee walking to her car with my toilet paper and she snatched it up. I mean, it's not really bad toilet paper. I mean, you'll probably have to wash your hands a little more often. But, you know, it's toilet paper, so it's free. So anyway, getting back to where I was, once that lady that I don't admire too much left the swap shack, I went in there and looked around for a little bit and I found a few little goodies. I didn't find anything incredible, but I think I might have stumbled upon a couple of nuggets. The first thing I found were these little spreaders. They've actually been there a while. They're not in terrible condition. They do have some wear and tear. Looks like they're called Lee Pre or Lee Pricks. I don't know how you say that. Uh, it says Korea on it. I went ahead and looked those knives up, and it looked like a set of 10 had sold for around $12 plus $9 shipping. So I might try to ask between 12 and 15 free shipping on those. I also found this little infant car seat canopy. It's still brand new in a package, I believe. I imagine on a good day you can probably get between 12 and 15 for it. I might have to wait till springtime, but then again, people in Florida are still walking their children. I also found this vintage Servant Saver number no. 6 lid. I've sold these time and time again. I've never not sold one of these. This particular one sells for between $12 and $15 on a good day. It all depends on how badly somebody wants a lid for their container. The price was too good to pass up for me. Saturday when I went to the dump, I saw that there was this vintage Rubbermaid container. At the time, I found a bunch of stuff, and I didn't want to seem too greedy. So I thought to myself, if this thing is here, next time I come, I'm going to go ahead and take it. And sure enough, when I got there yesterday, it was still there. These actually do okay. They don't sell for a whole lot of money. But on a good day, you could probably sell these for about $20 to $30 shipped. I haven't been having the best of luck recently with puzzles. But I did find this puzzle yesterday at the dump. It's still brand new and sealed in the original packaging. It looks like it's made by J.E.H. McDonald. And it's Falls, Montreal River. It actually looks pretty nice. It looks like it's a pomegranate art piece puzzle. And I almost left it because I couldn't find any sold comps. But I did see one that had sold recently for $18 plus shipping. Although it was a different landscape. I figured, you know what? I'm just going to throw it up there for $19.95 and maybe somebody buys it. Yesterday when I was at the dump, I also found this. I believe it's a Bible. It's a Rembrandt. Bible. 
Bajbal. It's a Bajbal. I think it's some type of maybe Indian Bible. I don't know. But it does have the cover and everything. When I looked it up, it looked like one had sold somewhere in the UK for like $55 plus shipping. At first glance, I didn't see any like this. But I might try to put it up there for $50 or $60 plus shipping or best offer. Also, out there yesterday, I found this vintage flashlight. It's a Duracell Durabeam. There's two types of these. There's this one, which is the full size, and there's a little square pocket one. The square one is the more desirable out of the two. These actually used to sell for really good money. About three or four years ago, there weren't a lot of people selling these on eBay, and I had put my first one up there and sold it to a museum for $30 plus shipping. Over the last few years, they got less desirable and more people were putting them on eBay. And I think they got down to like $10. So people stopped putting them up there. And now I saw one that had sold for $18. So I'm going to throw mine up there for $17.99. Yesterday when I walked in, I saw that they had this big set of Corelware dishes on the shelf. And I was very interested. I've never actually sold dishes before. But they had a really neat looking pattern. They just have a beautiful look to them. Just nice and vintage. I think there's like a bunch of uh, bowls here. And there's even a bunch of smaller bowls. I don't know. I think these are cereal bowls. And I'm not sure what these are. And there's even this nice little Pyrex cup. This is actually a Corning Pyrex. So it looks like. Since I don't have a lot of experience selling this type of thing, I just typed in Corelware and then Snowflake. And fortunately, they immediately came up. It looks like they're going to need a little bit of cleaning, but it looks like they're actually in really good shape. I saw somebody had actually sold this platter for like $20 plus shipping, so this should do pretty well. I saw that one seller had sold a lot of eight of these cereal bowls for $41 plus shipping, and I saw another seller selling them for like eight bucks a piece and doing pretty well that way. I'll probably end up selling these in a lot though. There's like eight of these little saucer plates here. I don't think these do too well. I might be able to get like $20 plus shipping, or I might actually just lot them with the mugs. We'll just have to see. You know, there's like six of these coffee cups, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and lot them together with those saucers, because it looks like nobody even gives a damn about coffee cups and saucers. <laughs> I saw one seller that had sold four of these cups for $6 free shipping. I'd like to know how the hell they made that one work. This one looks like it might do all right. This is a Corning Vintage Sugar Bowl. And it looks like one of these has sold for like $13.75 plus $15 shipping. Damn. I'll definitely be selling that separately. I'll probably try to sell this little creamer on its own. Looks like these are selling for like $8 to $10 plus shipping. It looks like these actually do all right as well. I think these are the eight and a half inch bowls. I saw a couple of sellers selling these for between 10 and $13 plus shipping. I may try to lot them together and sell them for $24.95 plus shipping. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna start some hot soapy water. And I've got plenty of items that I need to clean off and see if I can't get this stuff listed on eBay. So I think I'm gonna run out of here and go get busy. Let me know in the comment section if you think I'll do okay on this stuff. I think for a dollar, it'd be pretty hard to go wrong. Let me know what you guys are finding at your dump. If you guys enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any just general questions or comments, leave them below. I love to read them. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great day or night.